What is cobalamin or vitamin B12? Hi guys, this is Hazel and welcome to Wellness Today. Vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, is a water-soluble vitamin involved in metabolism. It is one of eight B vitamins. It is required by animals, which use it as a cofactor in DNA synthesis in both fatty acid and amino acid metabolism. Vitamin B12 is an essential vitamin found in foods such as meat, fish, and dairy. Vitamin B12 is required for the function and development of many parts of the body, including brain, nerves, and blood cells. It is needed to form red blood cells and DNA. It is also a key player in the function and development of brain and nerve cells. Vitamin B12 binds to the protein in the foods we eat. What are the food sources of vitamin B12? You can get vitamin B12 in animal foods, which have it naturally, or from items that have been fortified with it. Animal sources include dairy products, eggs, fish, meat, poultry, and dairy products. Foods high in vitamin B12. Milk, fortified cereals, if you identify as a vegan or vegetarian, some cereals are a great source of vitamin B12. Eggs Egg yolks contain more vitamin B12 than egg whites. Yogurt Salmon Tuna Beef Liver and kidneys Here are the foods high in vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is required for the development, myelation, and function of the central nervous system, healthy red blood cell formation, and DNA synthesis. Vitamin B12 function as a cofactor for two enzymes, methionine synthase and L-methylmalonyl coenzyme A mutase. Vitamin B12 is bound to protein in food and must be released before it is absorbed. The process starts in the mouth when food is mixed with saliva. The freed vitamin B12 then binds with haptocorin, a cobalamin binding protein in the saliva. More vitamin B12 is released from its food matrix by the activity of hydrochloric acid and gastric protease in the stomach, where it binds to haptocorin. In the duodenum, digestive enzymes free the vitamin B12 combines with intrinsic factor. A transport and delivery binding protein secreted by the stomach's parietal cells. The resulting complex is absorbed in the distal ileum by receptor-mediated endocytosis. If vitamin B12 is added to fortified foods and dietary supplements, it is already in free form and therefore does not require the separation step. What causes vitamin B12 deficiency? With age, it can become harder to absorb this vitamin. It can also happen if you have had weight loss surgery or another operation that removed part of your stomach or if you drink heavily. You may also be more likely to develop vitamin B12 deficiency if you have atrophic gastritis in which your stomach lining has thinned pernicious anemia, which makes it hard for your body to absorb vitamin B12. Conditions that affect your small intestine, such as Crohn's disease, celiac disease, bacterial growth, or a parasite. Alcohol misuse or heavy drinking can make it harder for your body to absorb nutrients or prevent you from eating enough calories. One sign that you lack 
and of vitamin B12 may be glossitis or a swollen, inflamed tongue. Immune system disorders such as Graves' disease or lupus. Been taking certain medications that interfere with the absorption of B12. This includes some heartburn medicines including proton pump inhibitors or the PPIs such as ezomeprazole or Nexium, Lansoprazole, Prevacid, Omeprazole, Prilosec OTC, Pantoprazole, Protonix, and Rabeprazole as effects. H2 blockers such as cimetidine or the tagamet and famotidine, pepsid AC, and certain diabetes medicines such as metformin or the glucophage. You can also get vitamin B12 deficiency if you follow a vegan diet, meaning you don't eat any animal products, including meat, milk, cheese, and eggs. Or you're a vegetarian who doesn't eat enough eggs or dairy products to meet your vitamin B12 needs. In both of those cases, you can add fortified foods to your diet or take supplements to meet this need. Symptoms of Vitamin B12 Deficiency If you have vitamin B12 deficiency, you could become anemic. A mild deficiency may cause no symptoms, but if untreated, it may lead to symptoms such as weakness, tiredness, or lightheadedness, heart palpitations and shortness of breath, pale skin, a smooth tongue, constipation, diarrhea, loss of appetite or gas, vision loss, nerve problems like numbness or tingling, muscle weakness, problems walking, mental problems like depression, memory loss, or behavioral problems. When vitamin B12 levels are low, the body cannot produce enough healthy red blood cells, leading to anemia. Red blood cells carry oxygen to parts of the body. Without enough cells delivering oxygen to your tissues and organs, the body will not function properly. Vitamin B12 helps the nervous system function effectively, working together with vitamin B9 or the folate, it helps iron function better and helps the body to make healthy red blood cells. Together, folate and vitamin B12 work to produce as adenosyl methionine or the SAMe, a compound that assists with mood and immune. Vitamin B12 and Skin Health Vitamin B12 is known to help the skin hair, and nails. Deficiency in the vitamin leads to discolored patches, skin hyperpigmentation, vitiligo, reduced hair growth, and more. Vitamin B12 is necessary for the reproduction of cells throughout your body, including your skin cells. It is known to reduce skin cell inflammation and dryness. And vitamin B12 is found to be effective for treating and preventing skin conditions like acne, psoriasis, and eczema. Vitamin B12 is an important factor in helping the body produce healthy red blood cells. When the body is deficient in or has low levels of vitamin B12, this can cause red blood cells to improperly develop. Hydrochloric acid in the stomach separates vitamin B12 from the protein in food. Vitamin B12 is then absorbed by the body and combined with the protein made by the stomach called intrinsic factor. If a person can't naturally make intrinsic factor, they have pernicious anemia. This means that they have difficulty absorbing vitamin B12 from dietary supplements and all foods. Vitamin B12 and age. 
Some older adults have a condition called atrophic gastritis. That's when your stomach doesn't make enough hydrochloric acid. It helps you absorb vitamin B12 from food. It's usually easier to absorb vitamin B12 from supplements or fortified foods when you have atrophic gastritis. That's why it's suggested that people 50 and older get their B12 from these sources. But sometimes, older adults need higher dose to keep their levels up. Ask your doctor what's right for you. Vitamin B12 deficiency can be treated with intramuscular injections of cyanocobalamin or oral vitamin B12 therapy. Approximately 10% of the standard injectable dose of 1 mg is absorbed, which allows for rapid replacement in patients with severe deficiency or severe neurologic symptoms. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Wellness Today by Hazel and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thank you. Bye!